a major shift in the immigration policy regarding the granting of citizenship announced by Prime Minister Dr. the Honorable Hubert Minnis at a local Haitian church in the inner city yesterday. Good evening, I'm Mavis Johnson Colley. And I'm Adon Davis. The Prime Minister was worshiping at the Metropolitan Church of the Nazarene on East Street when he declared that the immigration policy will be fair and just. He used his transport minister, the Honorable Frankie Campbell, to interpret his message in Creole. Today, while speaking with reporters, he reinforced Sunday's statement. Clint Watson reports. I am not opening any floodgates. What I am doing is respecting and carrying out the laws of the Bahamas. And based on this view, Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis is prepared to make sweeping changes to the immigration policy to allow a quicker response to what has been an outstanding issue for years. First up is changing the way citizenship is granted, moving the process out of the hands of politicians. I am not sitting down at no thousands of applications to do it. We have sufficient, honest, respectable individuals who understand the law and who can deal with it in an expeditious manner and fairly adhering to the law. Full stop. There are thousands of people waiting for citizenship and residency, and the Prime Minister says it's something the Cabinet should not have to do to add to its already busy agenda. Some applicants awaiting citizenship and residency approvals have been waiting decades. The process as it is that they must go through cabinet and of course there are backlogs individuals waiting for years um, in excess sometimes 10 years and um, many young people especially can be marginalized cannot receive proper documentation etc in order for fair play and to expedite and deal with individuals um, as quickly as possible in keeping with the law it would be better for us to have an independent body or committee that would um, decide these on a regular basis so as to um, deal with backlogs, etc. Referring to his announcement in the House of Assembly regarding the immigration policy and that year-end deadline for illegals to leave, Dr. Minna says it's not about Haitians only, but anyone from any country here illegally. The deadline includes Bahamians who illegally employ individuals. After the end of this year, we will aggressively pursue illegals regardless of color or nationality. If you harbor or hire illegals, I don't care, black, white, or whatever, you will be prosecuted. The law is the law, and we must start enforcing and abiding by our laws. And so the Prime Minister remained adamant that the Free National Movement Administration will follow the law. Regardless of what that requires, they will ensure at the end of the day that any matter regarding citizenship and those regarding illegal immigrants are followed to the T. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.